You can't evade this. Round one. Action. <laughs> You're an eye. No way. You're an eye. Go. You're an eye. You're an eye. You can't escape. <laughs> Persona. Come for me. You're an eye. You can't escape. So we Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I've been commentating this whole time. Yeah, good. All right. Goes in. Has to cancel. Trying to establish pressure. As we're seeing from that last sense, uh, they're both... Ooh, and Alistair just goes and stuffs him off of that button over there. Runs up. Gets the combo confirmed. It's his healthy check percent. Oh, I imagine he wanted to jump up and get an air throw, but he just whipped it in that sense. And now we're establishing neutral. Hits the persona, but gets hit for the troubles. Goes into the burst. That was a good burst. All right. Taken down from the air. Gets the air normals. What's the pressure? Persona. Oh, gets the uppercut, but doesn't whip punish. Uh, but he is going to confirm all of the persona right over there. And this is enough for a kill if he wants to get a follow-up. Yes, indeed. And that is going to be evening up the rounds one to one. This is the final round of the second game. All right, whips. And like as we saw before in that first game, he's going to be getting a hit. And that counter hit allowed him to dash and get that hit. And look at all this damage just coming up. Luckily, he doesn't have the meter in order to go into it. Just goes for the, the callback on the persona. Here he dashes in there. Goes for the box dash. Gets the hit back up. I guess he wanted to go for a follow-up. It's full screen now. He knows how to get his follow-ups. And he's sitting on meter now. So if he wants to actually cash it out, nope, just goes for the callback. Nice. Ooh, goes with the whip punish. That's going to be it. Yep, and that's going to be putting him back screen. And this is where he's going to go for the kill. Sitting on level four. Yep, use 50 of that far. And that's going to be the game. Coma is going to clap back one to one in our winner's finals. And I can already pick up some things that's happened in the game so far. Coma really good at, like, meeting towards the middle. And there's two strong points where he gets a projectile. He positions it properly. And on the counter hit, he's actually able to advance up and get the confirm and go into the persona combo. But on Alistair's front, like, he has very good pressure, uh, very indistinguishable pressure that's been reinforced by, you know, persona calls. And having to dance around your main character that can attack you and also that other supplementary character that can set up a, a, an automated attack like such is something unique to this game. And, of course, I'm not as familiar with it, but I'm seeing all the nuances, especially when it comes to Yukiko confirming to full screen, looping certain hits, charging for, you know, certain abilities, level one into level three fireballs, level four. Okay. And this is, again, going to take a decent chunk of health, but he's sitting up close to 100 bars. He's going to spend the 100. No, he doesn't. Nice off the trade between the projectile and the persona. Just trying his best not to get it irresponsibly hit. And this space control is being done really well, but as he goes for the teleport, that's going to be a grab. Oh, but it's not going to put him close to where it matters, but follows underneath the projectile sickles. Doesn't work. Alistair has been struggling at a point to, like, maximize the neutral potential, but when he does get in, it does have considerable amount of pressure. That's the DP, though. The follow-up hit knocks him down. Oh, Tex out. Board Tex out of the corner so he doesn't get hit, but the trade is not going to go in his favor. Koma is going to be hitting him off of that stray hurt box interaction. And going into the second round of this third game. Nice. Gets hit off of the uppercut, hitting in the opposite direction of where she was landing. Probably gets hit backwards. Uh, and that counter hit off the projectile has been business. It's been giving him a lot of good projectiles and a lot of good combo hit conversions. All right. Now we're just over here. If I saw these much paper mache's being thrown in class, I'd probably get detention because my teacher would be thinking I'm goofing around. Uh, but there is no business here. Coma is not goofing around. All right. Guard point. Doesn't get hit. Oh, that's a counter hit right over there, but it's not a pickup. But he doesn't get hit by the fireball interaction that came from the persona hit. And Alistair's been struggling in order to get in from this center. Koma has very good screen control when it comes to it. And this is going to kill. He's going to go into the 50 super. Oh, no, he doesn't. All right, goes in, follow up the pressure with Persona. Goes in, push a little off him. And he's only sitting on a little bit more. He's sitting on a little bit of chicken. He pulled that chicken. It wasn't it was a very linear amount. We're going to go into the rematch phase. Koma's going to be taking it. He is up two to one. We'll see who's going to go into our grand finals of this set right over here. Again, Alistair looking pretty good. And this is a competitor I've seen before. Frequents more of the K Fairfax uh, location. I've seen him play a lot of different anime fighters, plays Guilty Gear Strive, does play Persona as we do see. All right, ooh, gets hit by that meaty fireball over there, goes for the plus frames, but just Avari's out of there with the DP. All right. Oh, got caught whiffing over there, but gets hit, immediate burst. Trickle follows up after the sickles and hits him with the counter hit off of the, well, he wanted to do something. This is gonna be a wall conversion. All right, now he's out to the wall. Has no space, but goes for that, that counter grab situation that's been happening consistently. Goes into the call, into the reset, into the recall, into the back call again from the Persona. 
Koma has very good control out of where he could uh, call his persona where it's not. And I'm noticing Alistair, there's a lot of places where it's getting stuffed. That's why he doesn't have access to it. And he's on his last riding. He has to wait out this time. And he uses his hit. And he's sitting on the meter. He's going to have enough to convert this if he chooses to. But nah, just goes back into the call. Nice. It just pressures him into the round. And he is one round away into advancing into our grand finals. Cool. Slaps him down. Oh, he gets caught uppercutting. Enough for a punish, but that was a baby punish right over there. That doesn't matter. He gets caught hit again, and now he's in full screen. Gets the persona. Calls it back early, though. Oh, and he tried to go for the teleport, but it comes out of angle, and he hit him right under that. That was very unfortunate. And this is where the loop is coming. Doopity doop. Nice. I love the counterplay that's being happening there and the adjustment that Koma is making. Super jump. Backdash. Trying to wiggle around each other. Now Koma is the one that's initiating enough where Alistair might have an... And this is the uncomfortable point. Where you're, when you feel like you don't have enough control in neutral, you're being hit at points where you feel like you don't get hit, and you're having approach issues, you start to do like more frustrating, repetitive things. But and it's not going to matter because he's going to get hit. He's got his win condition. Oh, he gets hit by the jump. Light version, but oh, he just burst out. That's just his opportunity to get that hit. Oh, and he had the persona go over there. Hit him from behind, pull him in, and he came for the drop down. This is going to be the super cancel follow-up. And now he has to do is maintain him in that space, pressure him, but he pushes him off him again. Koma is very good at using this uh, push block option or pseudo push block option, but it's not going to matter. He's going to lose the round because he got hit in that last hit confirm. But literally, there's been a point where like he's been hit all the time. Alistair has um, off of Yukiko having that push option. Oh, that same interaction where he goes into the diagonal jump down off of that teleport. Got him hit. And Koma has the, uh, has the damage real estate. He is up by the round, so if he does manage to kill him, in this game, he will be going into our grand finals of the set. All right. Bleh. This game is so anime. <laughs> and they got this all on film, too. Look at that. Okay, goes for the super. It does not hit. Or I don't know if it's a buff or anything like that. Okay. Oh, uses the Persona in order to use that range on the hit. Yeah, sends him down once again. That's a very nice follow-up. The damage was good on that, too. Goes into the counter hit trade. That means he has more initiative. The counter hit goes into again. He goes into the pop. This is where Alistair wants to be, though. Probably is going to even this up 2-2. Two to two. He does have the light bar to sit by a little bit, but he can't get hit in neutral. This is where the fireball is going to be hitting him. He's in his space. Oh, gets the counter hit back. Oh, and this is where he goes into the confirm. Going to spin backwards. Goes into the loopy doo Nice, nice. That's where he's going to use the super. Goes into the damage. Not enough for the confirm, but enough where any stray hit is going to be taking it. And we can go into the grand finals. Pressures him from there. No. Oh, my God. If that would have went into a combo like it is now, it's going to be evening it up two to two. Alistair and Coma. Last game is going to be coming up. Very impressive stuff from both competitors. I'm digging it, man. And we're feeling the drama as we're getting into it. <laughs> round one. All right, round one's going. Dance around each other. Oh, gets the hit, but unfortunately, it was not a counter hit for Coma. It was a whip punish. So he didn't get that walk up confirmed that he probably would have been able to. Oh, now he baits over that little push. Oh, but that's the actual burst that happens. Okay. Oh, that was a counter, but it was in the air, so it didn't give like a stand stagger. Nice. And that wasn't in the corner either, so that reverse grab, it's not going to give him the combo that he usually gets. Oh, Tech backdash off of the grab attempt and goes into the super. He's taking a whole bunch of damage this time. Alistair has the momentum. And he's going to need like two more openings like that and use all the bar in order for it to matter. Okay, blocks the projectile. Sickles, and he doesn't avoid it. He gets smoked. And Alistair is back into the driver's seat. He could have the win one more round into being back into our grand finals option on the winner's side. That's okay. Definitely not playing from the home team, playing from away. Uh, but definitely showing why he's a threat to be considered. Okay, goes into the resummon persona back. Blocking from the air. Gets smoked with the low. Off the persona hit. All right, goes into the counter persona hit. But the, the fatal counter off of the push. Okay. Blocks the block string. Nice. Oh, got in from there, but didn't get any combo confirmed. Oh, but that push whip. And this is going for the persona pressure. Get smacked down. Smacked down. I watch that show every Friday. Okay. Oh, that was a nice re-jump into the grab. 
Nice gets smoked off the projectile. That's where you want to use the burst. Don't take the damage. He is behind by more than half health. Nice. Goes into the jump back. Gets hit by the button. Gets the full combo confirmed. And you got to be saying, you got to go into the loop, into the super cancel here. Yes, indeed. That's going to be pulling him up over. Do you go for another added cancel? Yes, you do. Use 100% of that bar into the kill. Good stuff from Koma. Evening up the rounds one to one. Who will be going into our grand final set of Persona Farina Ultimax? We're going to find out in the next 60 seconds if this is a very good fight. Ooh, goes into the clash counter. All of that instant block from the air. And he's going to be up by at least 20%. Goes into the oh, goes into the soul charges. That's level two. That's gonna be adding a little bit more. Yeah, that's gonna be adding a little bit more follow-ups. Goes into level three now. Nice, nice. Trying to find some way to get in, but just using that nice push in order to get off him. Hits the persona as well. Ugh. And you noticing when the personas do get hit, that's enough where those blocks are just getting challenged. Oh, man. Nice burst. Okay, and he's very low on it. Oh, so he's very low on his persona now. Alistair has been not. Uh, okay. Can he hit again? Nice. He's on his last persona life. Nice. Burst out. Counter burst. Behind on health, but does get the work punish. It's going to even up the health over here. Goes into the super confirm. Wall splat. Goes into the follow up off the persona. Uses the meter again. It's not going to kill, but one straight hit can take it. Alistair's looking like he's about to go to the grand finals, but Koma is not too far behind. Nice! Oh, that was the counter. That was the guard cancel hit. Persona break. He doesn't have access to Persona anymore. That's unfortunate. That's this dramatic set. But he only needs this one more hit. The stagger. Nice throw tech. All right. Gets it. And he's going to the kill. Nice tech. Okay. Get swamped into the game. And Alistair is going to take the set. Going into our grand finals. Coma, unfortunately, is going to be growing down. <laughs> And Alistair, since he won the set, he wins the option select between the fist bump and the handshake. Going back into it, you guys, ladies and gentlemen, to be honest with you, that is like the third set I've ever seen of oh, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. That was that was some hype. Uh, S H I T. Let's just say that. Okay, that was that was great. Uh, man, I'm so curious about this game now. Like, once I learn how all the intricacies and all that stuff works, man, uh, that's going to be dope. But I uh, thank you guys in the chat uh, for watching uh, Xanadu uh, 451 FTC Thursdays. Uh, we are back. We're going to be going into our loser.